Look, Dad, if this is about Star Manny, she's gone. Yeah, she told me right before she left. So you guys talk a lot? Yeah, we've been through the same stuff, you know. We both lost people close to us. I wish it was different, you know, for both of you. But you know what? That's not why I came here. OK. Not that I like to admit this, but m my birthday is coming up. Right. That's tomorrow, isn't it? Right. And uh, I thought I'd have a nice, quiet evening with, you know, with, with Kay, but, you know, celebrate the acquittal, but she's made other plans. All right. She going to take you on a trip or something? Uh, there's nothing I'd love more than to go on a trip, to go somewhere to decompress, but uh, I'm not very social. Kate's a lot more social than I am. So what, is she going to throw a party here? Yeah, t uh, tomorrow night at the, at, the, at the Metro Court, she wants to show me how much she appreciates me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's flattering, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I wanted to talk her out of it, but she's so excited that I didn't want to hurt her feelings. You know? So you're having the party then? Yeah, and I'd like you to come. What about Mom? What about Mom? Well, she half owns the Metro Court. Wouldn't it be kind of weird having a party at her hotel well, without inviting her? Well, that's between Kate and your mom. I don't like to get in the middle of all that. I'd advise you not to either. Look, Dad, I saw the look on Mom's face when you were found not guilty. She was happy for you, really. Michael, I don't like you worrying about that, okay? We're going to fight all our lives doesn't mean we don't love you. Okay. So about the party, because, you know, Kate, I don't know who she's going to invite, and I do, it'd be nice to have somebody I could talk to. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there, sure. Thank you. Yeah. So now that we got that out of the way, you going to tell me what happened with, with the girl? I guess she's pretty serious about a music career. She even went to L.A. for it. Well, that had to start a new life with her boyfriend and her little girl. They only came back because of her father's trial. I hope they locked that bastard up for life. I don't want him showing up on my doorstep with a yeah. gun. Yeah, she's, uh, Star was uh, pretty worried about her dad. And she keeps pretending to be mad at him, saying he's guilty, but I think deep down she uh, wants him to beat the charges. That's why she took the risk coming down here to be with her dad. Michael, I was at the trial, remember? When I asked about right. Star, I didn't... I asked about her and you. Well, nothing's really going on there. I, after she ran out of the courtroom, I, I got in here. Uh-huh. Saw her packing her stuff. Packing her stuff, right? She, 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 she moved back to L.A.? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if she even knows where she's going. She just wanted to get out of Port Charles. Well, I don't blame her. I mean, you know, a lot of bad memories. She's pretty wrecked about the verdict. So she wants somebody to pay for what happened. And that someone is me. And I tried telling her that you were set up, but I don't think she believes me. I'm more interested in what you believe. This is about me sitting next to Star when they read the verdict. I was just, I was trying to support her. That's I was it. proud of you. Standing by her like that. Well, I stood by you, too. Yeah, you know, yeah, and I know you had your doubts. No, I knew you were innocent, Dad. I, I told you that before the trial. Well, it turns out you were, you were keeping things from me because you, you, you were splitting your time sort of supporting Star and me and probably telling me things that you thought I wanted to hear instead of what you really believed. You know, I'm, I'm glad you were found not guilty. I know, I know, and so am I. That's not what I asked. You know, you know me, Michael, you know how angry I can get, especially when it comes to my children. I lash out. You know how much I despise Anthony Zakara, and you know that I am capable of killing him. Now, you sided with me, and I, I love you for that, but I don't want you to go against your conscience. So if you have any doubts, you need to tell me. Do you believe I'm innocent? At first, and, and, and Jason said something to me that put it all in the focus. What was that? If you caused the death of that little girl and her father, we would have seen it all over your face. 
And you, you wouldn't run from something like that, Dad. You wouldn't. You believe that? I believe you. I know you're innocent. Means a lot you know. to me. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, you were obviously set up. These are the kind of enemies I make. People who don't think twice about pinning innocent deaths on me. That's why I never wanted you in the business. It's not that I don't think you're capable. You understand that? Yeah. Dad, do you really think it was Johnny who framed you? I don't know anybody else. It just Dora said something to me that got me thinking. She, she's, she's wondering why the cops didn't even look at Johnny as a suspect. Your mom says that he had an airtight alibi. Yeah, well, mom wouldn't lie for Johnny. Not about that accident. Your mom and Johnny spent the night together. I know you don't want to get into that, but you, you know what? You can't tell me you didn't have two seconds to make a phone call. He used your mother to make himself look innocent. Are you worried Johnny's going to come after you again? I'd like to see him try. He doesn't do anything I don't know about. He's got this new business venture in the works. He thinks it's going to give him some edge, expand his power. Tell you what. He's in for a major disappointment. Okay, but Dad, are you, are you sure you want to antagonize him? I mean, he wants you behind bars, and he's willing to do anything to make that happen. He's tried. He's failed. Yeah, who's to say he won't try again? Don't worry about Johnny Zakara. There ain't nothing he's going to do to hurt me. Uh, okay, so I'll see you tomorrow night. Wouldn't miss it. Even though there's still the sound of you humming inside of me.